What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Go Mom, coming at y'all from the kitchen. Y'all said y'all wanted me in the kitchen, so I decided to try a recipe that I saw online. Hopefully, I can get it right. I don't know. I don't have all the stuff, but hey, I'm going to use what I got to get what I want, okay? So, if you're interested in this recipe, it is called sweet and, sweet and spicy chicken, I guess. Yeah, come on, y'all. Okay, so the first thing thing you want to do first and foremost is wash your hands. You are working with chicken, so you want to make sure you wash your hands thoroughly. Okay, now you want to get your click chicken. It's already clean, so don't worry. I already cleaned it. It's already ready to go. So I got garlic pepper, my season is parsley, onion powder, season all, and ground paprika. And I use the ground paprika just to make it red. Hopefully that works. And the key ingredient in this uh, menu is supposed to be baking powder, two spoons, but y'all gonna see how that work out for a minute, a little bit. So I'm just gonna dump all of the seasonings in there that I need. Listen, I eyeball my seasonings, you know, um, so I can't tell you how much I'm doing, maybe two tablespoons each or something like that. I don't know, just dump it in there, child. However you want to measure your seasoning, you do it like that. I know this looks like a lot, but it's not because as you can see, I am mixing it all together. Now, use my hands. Make sure you wash your hands because this is chicken and chicken carries bacteria, salmonella, and all of that other kind of crap. So you want to make sure you wash your hands. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that in this video, but I'm going to make sure that y'all know. Here I go. Washing my hands again. Okay? <laughs> That's how you do it, y'all. Dry mouth and carry on so on to the next step and for the next step we are going to I don't know what I'm doing what am I doing oh two spoons of baking powder there we go one spoon two spoons that's like two tablespoons okay with your eyeballs with my eyeballs anyway flip the chicken over um I kind of had more chicken than this guy did so I'm going to do two more tablespoons of baking powder and any day now, I'm going to get the two tablespoons of baking powder and put it in there. Oh, I washed my hands again because I didn't want to touch the baking powder. There you go. Two tablespoons of baking powder. Flip them over. Toss them around. Toss them around. Toss them around. Now, the object of the game here is to get the chicken to look like it was fried straight out of the oven. But we're going to see how that turned out. So, as you can see, I'm washing my hands again. Um to get all of the chicken stuff off and then i am going to proceed to the next step the very next step i have is to spray my pan with some canola oil like so it's non-stick cooking spray and i just coated my pan with oil and i'm just going to lay each piece of chicken down individually by you know so they won't be on top of each other now with the magic of camera there it goes and that's the chicken that i got left over i started to save that for the next day but i ended up putting it in another pot now the chicken kind of looked light skin to me still so i put some paprika on it again just to take it across the top so to help it get brown hopefully at least that's what my plan was so i know y'all can't see that i'm pointing at it i can't see it either it does say 425 degrees on my stove 425 degrees in the oven for 20 minutes 20 minutes close it 20 minutes is up taking it out that's the first 20 minutes take it out you flip it over and then after you flip it over, you put it back in for another 20 minutes. And as you guys can see that it still look light. It's not done. It was supposed to have like a dry coating. If y'all look to the right, y'all can see it look a little dry over there. But flipping it over, voila, there is, it looks wet again. So I'm going to put it back in the oven for another 20 minutes. And we're going to see how this turn out, y'all. I hope y'all still with me now. Now here we go. Taking it out again. Flip it over and... I think I flipped it over already. No, I'm about to flip it over. So after I do this flip over this time, I'm going to put it back in for another 20 minutes. I'm just checking right there to see if it's, you know, see what it looked like or whatever. But it's all right. Yeah, all right. And I'm like, well, it don't look dry and crusty. And it don't look like to me that it's going to be, have a golden crust. I don't see it looking brownish like it's uh, baked but hey it is what it is it didn't come out the way i thought it was going to come out it definitely didn't look like the video that i saw but 
go put it back in there again for i put it in there for 15 more minutes now i just took it out and i'm showing you guys what it looks like now now it does not look brown it don't look like it's been fried it looks still look like baked chicken to me but nonetheless i'm gonna carry on it i didn't it didn't work out right like i thought it was um but as you guys can see i'm pointing and i'm telling you guys that i'm gonna broil this chicken. I'm going to put it in back in the oven for like 10 more minutes, 10 to 15 more minutes on broil this time. Broil. This is what I did to mine because I wanted to give it some color. I wanted to at least make it look like I fried it, but it still don't look like I fried it. It looks like it's been broiled. It's just this turned brown on the top. So I'm just going to leave it like this because it is done. It I didn't get a good close-up shot at it, but y'all gonna see in a minute. I'm gonna take my spicy honey barbecue sauce. Now y'all screenshot that now. Spicy honey barbecue sauce. Now I ain't gonna say it no more. There it go again, spicy honey. I took all my chicken out of the pan. I put it in a bowl. I smothered it with spicy honey barbecue sauce and we gonna toss it around in the pan until it start looking good. Here we go, toss it, girl, toss it, toss it, toss it. Hey, toss it. Look, before before I showed y'all I had post um, barbecue sauce on top, it was already some on the bottom, okay? So if y'all looking like I didn't get the bottom, y'all had already got the bottom. So now as y'all can see, that's what it's looking like right now. Looking pretty good. Uh, yeah, I didn't put them back in the oven after this now. This was my last and final step. This chicken is piping hot in this bowl right now. So this is all I have to do. I just tossed them around in they sauce. And once I got done with that, I was done. All I had to do is plate up my food. Now, while y'all was not looking, I had already cooked some rice and some green beans. This plate right here belongs to Scooby. As you can see, it looks a little bland. Uh, but either either way, I cooked those green beans with garlic and uh, purple onion, a red onion, whatever you want to call it. And then this chicken. Look at that chicken, y'all. Look at that chicken. Now y'all see why I was acting a fool in my mukbang video. Because that chicken right there. Ooh. That chicken right there. That I'm telling you about this chicken right here. Yes. Look at that chicken. This is my plate. This is the plate that I was eating. This is the actual plate that I was eating. That chicken, y'all. I'm telling y'all. That was some of the best chicken I have had in a long, long time. Well, it did not come out fried like it was supposed to because it was supposed to look like it was fried in an actual oven, but it did not come out like that. However, it was good either way. It was so, so, so good. Maybe that's a good thing that it didn't come out fried because, honey, that was good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. That's all I got to say in this video, and I will holler at y'all later. Bye.